yo, yo. Welcome back. Oh, yeah, motherfucker. Yo, today's gonna be another video where we do another unboxing. Some more shit that I picked up. I picked up a lot of stuff. Dude, the deals are just flowing like crazy, man. It was just freaking crazy, man. I, I couldn't stop. It was just unbelievable. And, and and when I say like unbelievable, it was like pricing was like dirt cheap. Things that you would just like, shit, I'll use it someday. Look at this, man. It's it's insane. Insane. Like, I don't remember the last time that this happened. This is just, this is freaking crazy, man. I think what we should do is we should just open all this up and uh, let's go over it. I received this from a company called Solfton. I uh, hope I'm saying that right. Solfton. It's actually a jump starter for a uh, car in case you get stuck and your battery's dead or whatever. This thing here is actually gonna charge your phone, charge any type of USB device, and start your car. So this is like a good lifesaver. Any guys out there with hot wives like mine should probably get their wife one of these things so they're not stuck somewhere and some douchebag comes up and they're like, Yo, baby. You want me to uh, give you a jump? And then in the back of their mind, they're thinking, maybe she'll call me. You know? This was sent to me for free. I just want to put that out there. Um, they know already that I I'm gonna give my honest opinion, but based on the weight of this I can almost tell you right now that this is probably a quality product I would like to say that I plan on working with them some more and I will always give my honest opinion Then we're gonna go and we're gonna try it out see how it works So we'll start off with the, the specs on it uh, the specs are 55.5 watts an hour starting current is 400 amps Peak current is 1200 amps, so basically don't lick your fingers and touch this and push the button, okay? Jump starting output is 14.8 volts DC. Input type is type C, 18 watts for charging. Output quick charge, 5 volts, 3 amps. So this thing will definitely charge your phone with no problem. Uh, and also it says 9 volts, 2 amps, 12 volts, 1.5 amps, 5 volts, 2.4 amps. Type C, uh, it says PD 18 watts, so that's probably where the type C spits out. And 15 volts, 10 amps DC. So We'll start by opening it up. We'll give it a good look and see how it is. See how good the quality is. Oh, you got yourself a nice case right here. Man. This is nice. Presentation is top notch. You have the Type C charging cables. <coughs> uh, then you have the Type C to Type C, which is good to keep these in the car. You know, don't take these with you and use them. These are here for emergencies. Alligator clamp for the for the battery and I would assume this is probably a multiplier right here. Uh, based on the weight of it, I'm gonna say it's probably a multiplier. Green light blinking, press boost, start engine in 30 seconds. Now you have the product itself, which is very well made. It's got that nice rubbery feel to it. Some people don't like that, but I love it. This is a great product to take camping with you. Got that really great grip on it. Built-in flashlight. Uh, here is the more grips on the sides, and then you have 15 volts, 10 amps, which is huge. So it looks like what that does is this plugs in here like this and then you plug your converter or whatever product you have that plugs into a car cigarette later uh, on the side you have the the jumper cable right here and you go and you plug this part in and then you plug this to the car the indicator here tells you what to do and then on the bottom gives you the instructions there is a light indicator for battery level right here so this is almost full well i'm gonna go try it like this and see how it is almost full and see if it starts if it starts almost full that's a good good thing um obviously it's a lithium battery so the the charge will hold much longer so in the front here you see you have a flashlight and you have flap that you open and it comes with multiple chargings here a usb type c and you have a usb 3 connector and then you have a regular usb here you got the flashlight this thing's pretty bright this is really good when you're going in the woods this so this gives you the emergency flash this gives you the blink and you turn it off and to turn it on you just hold the button and it automatically just turns on so there you go those are all the modes that it comes with which is a good safety feature uh, in the back of it I think it's kind of interesting I mean literally if you bring this with you <laughs> you're pretty much in good hands because uh, it comes with a compass we're gonna go outside and try it with this one light missing and see how good it is if this starts the car up like that then we're in good shape. all right so what we're gonna do what the hell oh yeah so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off by removing just one of these connections here Our engine. All right, so we've got a green light blinking, so it's telling me it's a good connection. There you 
doesn't have it. This thing is a top quality product. As you saw, I disconnected the battery and it was strong enough to turn on the car. So that's, 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 in, that's amazing. Uh, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna plug the batteries back in. As you guys can see, all the links will be left down in the description below. Um, I also picked this up. This was an open box on Amazon. I think it was like $6 open box. And I've been eyeing one of these, but I've been trying to find a cheap one for $5. I don't know why this one was so cheap. I have a sound bar for my living room downstairs and I'm redoing the living room right now. It goes on the back of the TV where, the, where you mount it to the wall and then it hangs down and then you mount sound bar right to it. So it's perfectly underneath the TV. Right, now open up the next one. I have no idea what this is earrings i was wondering what the hell this thing was all right so i picked up these earrings i had a set my daughter took them i had to i found them again on sale that was super cheap let's open up the next one son just recently came in yesterday <laughs> so it came in perfect timing this i did not know even existed up until about two weeks ago all of a sudden it popped up on my ebay uh under my mercury i uh, saved searches so when this popped up, I'm like, oh shit, I didn't even know such a thing existed. And I know they had this for, the Genie brand has this also. It's almost exactly the same. They changed the base and the resolution's the same. So I was very surprised when I saw this. So my eyes were like all over this shit. This sells for $50, I think, or $45 on, on Walmart. I paid $25 for this plus tax. I like it because I can actually put this in my house and watch my dog or watch the babies, whatever you want to do with it. You know what I mean? The Genie one was black but I was too cheap to spend the extra 10 Cheaper. bucks on it. Let's open up the next one, son. I know what this is, I can tell. Here's another drill I picked up. I always grab these when I see them cheap because I always like to have my drills with the bits that I'm using it. I don't like just changing them out. I always, I like having them ready when they need them. Uh, this is another brand that I recently discovered that has all orange and black just like Tack Life. Uh, I bought it for this piece here because this has a, an angle that you can actually get in there. Unlike this thing where you keep on hitting your damn knuckles on the freaking window pane. I like the fact that this is here. I'm curious to see how this works because I've never used one of these before. Let's do the next, uh, son. I'm on below my words. All right. So here it is. <laughs> So here is uh, some masonry drill bits. When I saw them, they were only a dollar each, like a dollar and like five cents. I don't know why, but every once in a while, Amazon just has these like ridiculous deals on stupid shit. And this was one of them. Uh, so I picked up three. I don't own any of these. I like the fact that they they just like these like quick popping ones. Uh, I will need them eventually because when I build my, my shed outside from all my tools and shit, I am gonna need it because I'm gonna put some concrete um, pillars. Let's roll. I have these P2 tips, Bosch. These are my favorite tips. Uh, I usually buy these in the five pack. They usually cost me uh, $4 for five. Uh, but for some reason, I bought these for, for $2 for four in separate packs like this. These are my favorite bits. I love these things and they're awesome. This one here is open. I had to take something out of the bag for my wife and my daughter. And uh, what I ended up doing is picking this up. I'm not sure how good it's gonna be, but my other one that I have to check the codes on my car, literally the thing is this freaking big. And if I can use one that's smaller and apparently this just as good, it has a real screen. It doesn't just give you a stupid code. It actually has a real screen on it. Uh, I'm curious to see how this is gonna turn out. If it's no good, I'll just return it. I'm not too concerned about it. If you get something like this with uh, a different brand on it and you pay like 60, $70 at uh, AutoZone. I picked this up. I already have one. I don't know why, but this thing was $3. I have no clue why. And I wasn't gonna leave it there. There's no matter what, I'd rather have two than one anyways, but for this price, I wasn't gonna leave it. Uh, this thing's super comfortable, man. It feels just like the original Nintendo controllers. Uh, the only thing is you don't have to fight with a cable. This is gonna stay in the pack until I need it. Oh shit, that's right, that's right. 
Oh, word, man, word. Dude, check this out. This is for the oscillating tool. A couple of years ago, when I started using my oscillator more and more, I realized that they actually made these for the oscillating tool to make the, the cutouts for plugs on the wall and stuff for the boxes. And when I went to check, they were $50 because they had like some big name on it or whatever. So now it looks like the Chinese found the way to make these. When I bought this, I paid like, I think it was $10 for both of these. It came with the single socket and it came with the double socket one right here. Or gain or whatever they call it. So this is for the double right here. And I, I'm, I'm usually, I have to measure it, cut it out. This thing, you put this on and it just cuts right through it. And the freaking thing takes the whole piece of a sheetrock right out with it. I hope you guys enjoy this video. So anyways, I want to say thank you to you guys for watching this video. Thank you so much for everything, all the support. Thank you so much to all my new subscribers. I'll see you guys on the next one. Don't forget to love life and don't forget to be kind. I am a prodigy. I am a leader. They follow me. I am a prodigy, I am a leader, they follow me.